Yo, this is a total place, Pokemon Violet, and as you can see, we have arrived in a new town, in Cascarafa. Here we have a gym leader, which is Kofu, and you can see he's using the water type Pokemon. And his Pokemon are around the, yeah, around levels that we are. So water means grass and electric are king, avoid fire and ground and rock, they are kind of bad. So Naglastack will not do well, same with Crocolore. Cloud Sire normally would do really bad here, but he has the water absorbed, so he will like it. He'll actually, you know, be good, I guess. He's immune. Pomo is great, as is Bramblin. We have water, we have electric, and we have grass. Azumarill is also fine, because while water doesn't really do well against itself, it's still resistant, so just use none. Water moves and you'll do fine. So this is sort of a nice little town. Has these palm trees. Has this water from the side. And it has a big desert right next to it. Which means sometimes this place can be played with sandstorms, which can be a bit bad, but still a good amount of people here. Looks to be a nice place to live. But if the snow sandstorms are too hard, it could have been really bad though. Anyway, let's go straight to our objective. Let's go and find Kofu, the gym leader of this town, and tell him we want a badge. Because we have three badges from the gym leader so far. We take care of him. We'll get our fourth one, and then we're halfway through with the gym leaders. So up here is his gym at the top of the place here. We have some more trees, some more mountain sides, and here we are. Voltin, the loser. I'm late, I'm late. And there he is. Oh, why is he, where is he going? A Kofu, wait. He got away. How am I supposed to return to this to him now? Oh, hey! You're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it! Of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu, leader of the Cascarafa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Uh, sure. Oh, you are too kind. I'd give you a gym bed right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Let me get his wallet. Oh, that's a cool wallet with a Venonat sign on it. It's pretty nice. Kofu's wallet. A wallet that was left behind by Kofu, the gym leader of the Cascarafa gym. We delivered him at the market in Porto Marinada. This can be a gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Kofu is headed to Porto Marinada. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. I like how, how this takes a bit of a sad face. But yeah, we can't get to fight Kofu right now. You see, he's not even here. So he is now down here at Porto Marinada. There are two ways to get to him. One is to go straight through the desert around here and get it up around here to go to Porto Marinada. The other way you can go is to head east and then follow through a path which is near the town here of uh, of Medali. Then there's a path that going through like a cave that goes to Porto Marinada. Now the desert might be, you know, dangerous, but we don't say no to a challenge, do we? So while water is the type, we're gonna fight against the Pokemon that hate water. Because usually most Pokemon in the desert are of the ground type. Because ground likes it when it's more dry. And deserts. All that. Yeah. Let's go down here. 
Here we also fight. This is the area where we're gonna fight later on when we get back to Ko the Kofu. This is the um, battle arena in Kaskarafa. Looks beautiful though. It even has this water next to it. Oh, give me water. Fresh water. Huh. An item with fresh water in the water. That's uh, interesting. At the edge here as well, we also find another Pokemon Center. This is the uh, northern part of town. That's another item here with these bikers. The next attack. Which is useful if you have fancy Pokemon. You don't need to heal a Pokemon, but might as well just do it so we can register this Pokemon Center here. So we can fly here directly later. So yeah, we probably will see Pomo and Bramblin to be our Pokemon of usage here, but be careful because they might not do well. Especially um, Pomo because electric types are weak to ground, so ground type Pokemon will probably do really well here. But Bram at the same time, Pomo is useful. Fighting can also be good if they have some other types that are weak to, uh, to fighting. Let's item over here. Water Terra Shard. So, Terra Shards are very useful items. If you gather a lot of them, like 50 of them, then later on in the game you'll find a person that can change the Terra type of the Pokemon. Provided you bring them enough Terra Shards uh, so you can change the Terra type. We are in a solid desert. Sand Outlaw. Got trainers here too. Got some growlets here. We have a lot of uh, items here too. So what this trainer has to do? Two whole decades of what? I got 20 years of studies at the academy under my belt. 20 years of studies. I mean, sure, I guess it counts when you're a st when you are a school kid. Up to when you graduate, but 20 years is a long time. Here we have Basculin. He's a water type from generation 5. So it's just go with Spark. Basculin's with. We use Aqua Jet, which is a priority move, that's why I go first. Got Spark. With a decent physical electric attack, and Basculin has no chance. And level up for Pomo. Next up is Ponyard. So, Ponyard is not a water Pokemon, it's a dual type Steel and Dark. And the reason I stick with Pomo is a very easy reason. So, I mentioned it kind of just a few moments ago. Fighting can be good for other Pokemon types that are also are weak. Ponyard has a four time weakness to fighting. Because both Dark and Steel hate fighting. This arm thrust will always hit at least twice. Ponyard has no chance. That's how you win. 20 years for this. Oh man, I hope it wasn't practicing for 20 years to fight a battle with these Pokemon. Here we have Cacturn as well. Cacnea up here as well. Some, some older Pokemon that we have seen before. We have Orthworm here as well. We have a uh, Dumpfin. Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed is a good move. It's a physical uh, grass type move. Got Stardust. There's a ground type Pokemon as well from Generation 8. Got a potion. Yeah, I think we're just gonna spend most of the time in the desert for now today. Grabbing some items. Let's send a Conda here as well. Star piece. Oh, look at that! Larvesta! So Larvesta is a sort of like a suit legendary Pokemon Generation 5 that becomes um, very powerful when it evolves. Volcarona. Which is a very powerful bug fire dual type. So this Pokemon you might even want to consider capturing because it's a very powerful Pokemon when it evolves to Volcarona. 
We already have a fire type though, so I'm probably going to do a little skip. We have some ruins here, which also means there's other stuff to grab here. Oh, here we have these. Another fighting type Pokemon from Generation 8. There's a cute thing. This is Phalanx. The Phalanx, look at them. They're in motion when they move. The Phalanx is a fighting type Pokemon. Endure. Endure means that you will guarantee to, to survive whatever Pokemon you have produced against you. You will always be standing at it with at least 1 HP. Use Nuzzle to paralyze. Move synergy, increasing critical hit chance, which means there's a bigger chance that Phalanx's attacks will deal critical damage to us. You're not too worried though, for now. Our spark comes in, focus energy again, which is stupid. Focus energy doesn't stack, so once you use it once, well that's it. We haven't bought items for a long time. Try a Great Ball with a um, link to reduce HP and paralyzed. Nope, it goes straight out of the Great Ball. Again, another Fox Energy. I don't understand why. It's almost getting me to like these vibes of Generation 1. AI yeah, in Gen 1 was so bad, so terrible. In an Ultra Ball, it goes up. Bulk up. Which is a move that you use a lot of fighting types. It increases in both attack and defense, which means it's a very good move for both offensive and defensive play. That is, of course, should you fight Pokemon that are using uh, not special attacks. Eh, let's just kill this. Phalanx. I think Phalanx is cool, but the issue you have with Phalanx is that it doesn't evolve. Aquaring, a move that, increase, that restores HP every turn, like a regen form. Mm. It's okay, but not the biggest fan of it. A rare candy, a very nice item, which uh, gives a level up to your Pokémon. I do advise you to to try not to use it early on because later on, as you go higher up in levels and the amount of EXP you need to um, what TM did you just get? The amount of EXP you need to level up goes higher and higher. The value of TM goes up too. That's a must up we got? That's a Gram I think. Maybe it was Electro Ball, maybe it was Dig. Mm, it doesn't really matter. It's just important that in my opinion, you, every time you see a flashing TM in the, in the distance, you should go and grab it. Because you do get so much from it, because then you can craft it afterwards too. Here we have one of these. Gimme goals, which you have seen before. Can't use arm thrust here because it is um, immune to it by being a ghost type. Once you capture one, you don't need to capture more. You can just kill it to get the uh, gimme goal coins. You get a total of 50 coins every time you defeat one. You need to defeat plenty, 60 coins actually. You defeat plenty because you need almost a thousand to evolve it to the next form, and that form is actually very good. We got a potion here. And I also grab a max ether. There's a new Pokemon we haven't seen here yet. What's this one? Rolling a ball? A new Pokemon! This ball rolling bug is Relor. It's a new Pokemon in Generation 9. Let's learn more about it. Nuzzle. Capture it. It is a bug type. Perhaps this is more. Take down. I would do this damage actually. But it is a recoil move, which means every time you deal damage with takedown, you will also take a percentage of the damage you do will be given back to you. Another takedown, and now his HP is almost down. He should be the capturable now. Let's see. Did we have the net ball? No, we did not. Let's then use 
a great boulder. Should be enough. Very low HP and he's almost killed. One, two, three, and we got him! A new Pokemon is in our hands. Let's take a look and learn more about Relor. The Relor is a pure bug type Pokemon, a new Pokemon in Generation 9. It rolls its mud ball around while the energy it needs for evolution matures. Eventually the time comes for it to evolve. Well, bug types are a lot about evolution. Seems there are a few bug types that are non-evolutional Pokemon, but that's not funny. Maybe later on we'll take a look at Relor and see what it evolves to. Let's run around here and get some more items. Super Potion. Always useful. So down there we see Porto Marinada. Not really that close to it still though. Might we want to go around a bit. We see Femfi and Donphan here as well. Which are ground types introduced in Generation 2. Sun is going pretty hot. Luckily I'm not sweating with running around this uh, uniform. We're going to revive. Always needed. In case something were to happen. The Roto one is calling. Hey, Satano! Apparently the desert is home to the quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and ugh, making me feel a bit sick. So I'm just gonna sit down and rest the bell before I get back to Titan hunting. Yeah, he is right about that. There is a Titan nearby. However, we're not gonna go for it now because this Titan Pokemon is actually pretty high level. And I do fear we're going to be possibly struggling against it at this moment. But don't worry. Oh, wow! Look! Look at that! That's a Dunfin! See a Dunfin over there? You see what it is? It's a shiny! Wow! Amazing! Take a screenshot of that one. That is a shiny Dunfin. Right there. Right in front of our eyes. How do you stay in my game here? I mean, I'm not that into shinies completely like I would go crazy about them, but... Look at that! That is a shiny Dunfin! Wow! And here it comes! Amazing! That's lucky of us, we're getting and finding a shiny Dunfin. Now, I might have found other shiny Pokemon and just run through them, because I don't pay attention enough to them. But that one is easy to notice, though. A shiny Dunfin. Dunfin, you can see, this one is high level, level 37. You might not even be able to beat it because it's so high level. It's so high compared to ours. Let's try them. Let's start off, let's see. Let's start off with Bullet Seed. Slam, that's good. Because uh, Bramblin is a ghost type, which means ghost types take zero damage from normal and fighting type. The problem is that we can't use uh, Nuzzle against it because ground types are immune to electric. Stop me, Tantrum. Ouch! It wasn't even effective against Bramble and still got one hit KO'd from it. Yeah, these issues about being high level. So, Stop me, Tantrum is a pretty good move, a ground type move. We could use Cloud Sire too, but the problem is that Cloud Sire is a ground type, but it's weak to ground too because poison are weak to ground. Why you have to be careful. Hmm. Knuckle Stack is tanky, but he's a weak to ground. Crocolor is weak to ground. All these three here are weak to ground. I mean, oh, Pomo. All these four Pokemon here are weak to ground. Let's go to that Zoomeril then. Let's try Aqua Tail. Scary face. We should decrease his speed by two. Oh wow, good damage. Almost a KO as well. 
Alright, we don't have many Pokeballs, so we have to hope for the best now. Let's go for trouble. One, two, three. Ha! Ah, we got him! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Imagine. That was a cool uh, thing, guys. Nakasai was drawing recover. Uh, no, that's not really often you see recover used by a rock type Pokemon. So recover restores half your HP in up uh, right there. Get is okay to use. I guess you can use instead of Soul Cure. Soul Cure is a bit it's okay, but a bit weak. Wow! A shiny dumpin. Look at this one. It's such a beauty. Dumpin is normally a calm Pokemon. Once it's enraged, it'll curl its body into a ball and charge at you while rolling. Yeah, we've seen that a lot, both in the games and even in the anime. I mean, in the, when it was introduced to the anime, which was in the very first Pokemon movie, he was rolling pretty hard. Still got beaten, though, but he was rolling and rolling, rolling, rolling. Anyways, as I mentioned, we won't be fighting any um, Titan Pokemon here today because we don't have a chance against it. Titan Pokemon, I think, is even higher level. Oh, yeah, Rain Dance. It's even higher level. It's a Sandy Ghast. Can't even climb up this uh, thing here. Yeah, you can't even climb. We can't even fight the Titan because it's too high levels. It's pretty much in close to th close to the 40, so we don't have the power to, to fight them. But we'll fight them later though. So we'll come back here for that. Anyways, that was a very, very nice ending to this Let's Play, but man, I was a bit scared because I'm getting almost out of items. But luckily, we managed to get ourselves a shiny Dunfin. 37 as well, which is the highest level Pokemon in my team right now. I did not use it in my team though. Maybe I should use Dunfin instead of Knucklestack. Yeah, I want to use Knuckles like cause it's a new Pokemon. It makes it a bit more fun to use Pokemon that are new. I mean, all, all of the aside from Azumarill, all of these Pokemon are new or new variations. So, anyway, that's gonna be it for this uh, episode. Next time, we continue to Porto Marinada to find Kofu. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And that's good for now. See you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon Violet continues.